All right, welcome back. So we're looking at the eigenfaces example, where we take a library of, of, of people's faces reshaped into column vectors. And when we compute the SVD of this matrix, we get uh, these orthonormal eigenfaces, which are the columns of U. And these provide an orthonormal basis to represent human faces in. Okay. Now, what's really neat about this is that you can use this for image classification. So if you have an image X, Instead of doing classification in a high dimensional, maybe megapixel image space, what you can do is you can take that, that image X and you can project it into the first R dimensional eigenface coordinates, the first four columns of U transposed. And what you get out is this little A or alpha vector, which is kind of a fingerprint for that person's face in this basis. And in this low dimensional representation, what we're going to show is that you can have people cluster and you can use that clustering for building a classification algorithm. So if I have a new picture, I can tell if it's person A or person B based on where it lands in this uh, R dimensional subspace. So here what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just randomly pick person two and person seven from my library. We're going to pull only their faces and we're going to project them into the first into the fifth and sixth uh, principal component or uh, column of U. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the fifth and the sixth column of U, and I'm going to basically take the inner product of all of my images with those two columns, the fifth and the sixth column, and I'm going to get a two-dimensional vector alpha. And when I plot my data, I'm essentially plotting it in principal component five uh, versus principal component six. Okay, And when I do that, what we see is that person two and person seven really nicely cluster in this principal component space. Okay, so almost all of the white diamonds for person two are up here, and almost all of the blue triangles for person uh, seven are down here. And what that means is that you can build a pretty efficient and accurate classifier. So if I have a new picture of person two, I'll be able to tell because chances are, if I take that new picture and take its inner product with these principal components, it will drop near all of the other white diamonds. And if I take a picture of person seven, it'll probably end up near the blue triangles. And you can use this for a classification. So this is at least kind of a rudimentary sketch of how Facebook might tell different people apart in images uh, using low dimensional features. Okay. And just to show you, you can actually plot um, person, uh, person two. So I took the first person image and I plotted that. Uh, if you want to see what the second person looks like, they look like that. So those are the two people that we're, we're telling apart. Uh, and they very, very nicely separate and cluster uh, in this space. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You can use these principal components or the SVD modes, your eigenfaces, to do classification also. And I'll point out, it's no coincidence that I chose principal component five and six and not principal component one and two. So um, the first two principal components at least with faces, generally encode all of the information that is the same among all people. So all of us basically have an oval, an eyes, and a nose, and a mouth. And the first three principal components that capture the most variance in this data are actually the information that, that most of us have in common. Okay? The information that is different from person to person, you know, different geometry of the eyebrows and the nose and the spacing of the, the different features, that's encoded in the lower energy singular values, uh, four, five, six, and so on. So if I plotted this for um, the first, instead of PCA modes five and six, let's say I do, I don't know, one and two, look how terrible the separation is here. There's almost no separation of, of the, the two people in this, this, um, these two principal components, one and two, because those are the features that generally are the same. Um, or in this Yale Faces database, maybe it's uh, shadow differences or things like that. Okay, so if I go back to five and six, we recover our really nice uh, separation, nice clean separation. And the cool thing about this is you can download this, you can play around with this, you can, you can play with your own, pick your own PCA mode, see if you can get better separation uh, or interpret what these different modes are doing. Okay, thank you.